In this video, I'll show you how to graph a cumulative frequency distribution. We obtain a cumulative frequency distribution by summing all values less than a given class limit. The graph of a cumulative frequency distribution is called a cumulative frequency polygon, or ogive. The question reads, using the table provided, and this table was made in one of the videos we created where we analyzed the grades of 30 students, we have to make a cumulative frequency distribution for the data. To do this, we compute the frequencies by adding the values below the given limits as shown. So for example, the classes we had were between 56 and 62, 62 to 68, all the way to 92 to 98. So we have to create a table where we tally up all numbers that are under 98, that are under 92, under 86, and so on. Let me show you what I mean. So the table will look like this. We'll write down grade under 62 will be our first row. To find out this number, we have to look at this chart and count how many students scored a grade under 62. According to the frequency table, only two students scored less than 62, and that's shown in the first row. So for this row, the cumulative absolute frequency should be 2. And that represents 2 out of the 30. And the cumulative relative frequency percentage here is 6.7%. Now we have to count how many students scored a grade under 68. Anything after 68 doesn't count. Anything before does. So 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 over 30, and that is a percentage of 13.3. So this column right here is the cumulative absolute frequency, and this column represents the relative frequency. Let's find out how many students scored a grade less than 74. Under 74, that will include everything above. So 4 plus 2 plus 2 is 8. The percentage is 26.7%. How many scored something less than 80%? This includes all four of these numbers. 8 plus 7 is 15. 15 out of 30 is 50%. So 50% 50 scored less than 80. Under 86, we have all of these numbers added up, which is 22, and that is 73.3%. Under 92, this will be the majority of the students, 28 over 30, that is a 93.3%. And finally, how many scored less than 98? Well, that's going to be a perfect 100%. So 30 of the 30 students scored less than 98%. Now that you've created your chart, you can go on to plot this right here, where this vertical axis will represent the cumulative frequency. And the horizontal will represent student grades. Now I know the frequency ranges from 0 all the way to 100%. So this will be 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 all the way to 100. Along here, I'll place the class limits. So we have 56, 62, 68, 74, 80, 86, 92, and 98. The percentage that we got under 62 was 6.7, and that will be in between 56 and 62. So at the midpoint between 56 and 62, we'll plot 6.7%. 6.7% is right here. Under 68 was 13.3%. Notice. So in between 62 and 68, I'll write down 13.3%. I'll plot it right there. Next was under 74. That represents 26.7%. So in between these two, the next one was under 80, and that was 50%. So between these two, I'll plot 50%. And we'll connect these points later on. 
Under 86, we had 73. Under 92 was 93, and then finally 100. So between these two is 93, and finally between these two is 100. Next, I'll connect these points with a straight line, and your final graph should look like this. One more thing that I want to incorporate are the number of students. I know that there was two students under 62, so I'll write down over here, this represents two. So I'm going to use this vertical to write down the amount of students. So I'll use intervals of 3, 9, 12, because I know that at 30, all 30 students scored less than 98. And so there you have it. That is how to create a cumulative frequency distribution.